All right, we're gonna start in settings and we're gonna scroll all the way down until we find camera. When you click on camera next to grid, you're gonna switch grid on and this is gonna show some grid lines on your camera. And when you go home, find the camera app, click camera and now you see those nice grid lines. So you're gonna line up your image, your focal point with those grid lines. So you want your focal point or whatever the focus is of your picture to touch those grid lines. You take your picture and then at the top right, you're gonna click edit. And you have a bunch of options for editing your photo. You can click on the left side, the middle button, these are filters. So you have a vivid filter, warm, cool, dramatic. You also have black and white. And then also on the left-hand side, you can crop your image by dragging the corners or you can pinch with your fingers. And back to the left on the top, those are different adjustments you can make. So you can change the exposure is how much light is being allowed into your camera. Brilliance, highlights, shadows, contrast, brightness, so lightness or brightness, and we have black point, which changes the blackness. You can also change the saturation. So this is color brightness. Vibrancy, which is similar. It's just a little more bright or dull. And then you can make your colors more warm or cool. Changing tint, green to reds. Sharpness will make your image more sharp or blurry. And finally, when your image is how you want it to be, at the top right corner, you're gonna click done and it will save to your gallery. Now it's time to post our saved image to Artsonia. So you'll open Artsonia Click student and you'll scan your class QR code. So this might be in your art sketchbook if you're distance choice. This might be on the mini version that I gave hybrid students. You'll scan it, then click your grade. You will click your teacher and find your name. You can do this by sliding or searching. And then you'll click the yellow plus add button. We are posting to the photography project. So click photography plus sign. And we're going to grab from our photo library. So import from photo library. You'll click all photos and select the photo you want to upload. Now you have a chance to crop your image. So you can select no crop or you can get rid of any sections you don't want and then click next in the top right corner and submit in the top right corner. And now you have a chance to title your artwork. So this might be simply typing my photo. You could type photography. You could name your photograph. You decide what title you want for this photograph. It could be the date that you took the photo. Maybe it's the location you took the photo. And when you've titled your artwork in the top right corner, you will click submit. If you're choosing not to title, you will click skip. And we'll just skip the artist statement for now. And then it will be part of your gallery. So you can log out or click the plus sign to add another.